welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this loopy looking wreath. Um, someone in my Facebook group has sent me a picture of one from a website, it's sold out right now, so I don't know what the original price is. But anyway, this is my version of that wreath. Hang tight and I'm gonna have a picture of it attached right after this so that you can see what that one looks like. Here it is. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need, one of these floral foam wreath frames. This one came from Dollar Tree, but you know you can find these at any craft store. This is the 9.8 inch one. You can go bigger or smaller if you want to. This just happens to be the one that I had, okay? You're also going to need some sort of burlap ribbon. Now, I grabbed this at Joann's a while ago, but I have some and I couldn't find it. Of course, when I need it, I can't find it. So I just grabbed this at Joann's, but you can take your burlap and just cut it into a strip. You just need it wide enough that we're gonna be wrapping around this frame, okay? And why are we gonna do that? To provide a nice base and to cover up some of this green. But anyway, what we're going to be doing first is let us open this up just with this tape. I'm just gonna cut that off, it! Just cut that off, throw it in the floor. Take off this label, throw that in the floor. And we're just gonna use enough of this to cover it. All right, so I'm gonna angle it a little bit and start to wrap and see how that angle is. And then I'm going to take my trusty hot glue gun here and I will link below in the description box to this glue gun. I love it because of the like fine tip it has on it. So I'm just going to glue this down Look at all that nice glue oozing out there. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to wrap the entire wreath frame with it. Just around and around like so. Like I said, this is just to provide us with a base. Okay. So all the way around. And then when I get back to the end, we're going to glue that down and trim it off. All right. So this is what we have so far. And I went ahead and I trimmed off a lot of the little scragglies. Now, we're going to start making the loops. And to do that, I'm going to be using this cording. I got this at Walmart. This is the 4-ply number 72 cording, okay? Now, there are a few different ways that you can attach this. You can use straight pins. Ah, it's on me. I've got paint and stuff all over me today. You can use um, straight pins. You can use, you know, like the little U-shaped floral pins to hold it in place. I myself am going to be using some hot glue and then going to reinforce with floral wire. Let me tell you why I'm going to do that. Because I know not everyone has access to those pins, and when you're using a whole bunch of them, it can run into some money, okay? So that's why I'm initially just going to be hot gluing this down, and then I will, like I said, reinforce with some floral wire. So to start, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down a blob of hot glue just wherever you want to start. Let's hold that down. And this wreath, I think, is going to be a little bit time consuming. It's not going to be something fast that you just throw together. And then you're going to make your loop. And then I'm just going to glue it down right beside of it. See? I'm just making that loop just like so. Like I said, if you don't want to use the glue, you use whatever method you want to hold it in place. I'm going to be using the glue. Okay? Then we're just going to make another loop. Just hold it down like so. See? Now we've got two loops. And I'm just going to keep doing that around the wreath. And we're going to be doing it all the way around the wreath frame. Okay. Let's pull out just a little bit more. I'm just going to put another little blob of glue. And this does not have to be perfect at all. Can you see how we're making these little loopy doos here? Like so. It'll be cute when it's done, okay? <laughs> It'll be cute when it's done. But let me pick this up so that you can get a better look at it. And I'm just going to continue making my loops all the way around the wreath. If you don't want to go all the way around the wreath, you know, stop right about here and then just keep working yourself downwards however you want to do it. But for me, I'm just going to work it all the way around. Okay, I just think that that's going to be easier to work with. So let me work my way around this first pass, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the floral wire. All right, I have made my first pass here, and then here is my floral wire. Okay, so 
looking at the picture of the store-bought one, this is what it looked to me like they did after they made their loops and they went back around it and they reinforced it. So I'm just going to, we're gonna consider this to be the front. I'm just gonna flip this around and then I'm just gonna reinforce it with this because to me, looking at the picture, it looked like that they were glued down and then just reinforced with a little bit of wire. So I'm trying to, you know, like recreate what they had, okay? Now don't worry about this wire showing because you're gonna have plenty of loops on here and those loops are gonna cover it up, okay? All right, so there is that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to jump up this way. See, because we're working over to cover that wire. Just gonna be working back around and then going up this way. So let's see, I'm going to just put some glue there just to hold that down. And then, like I said, just working your way up, making loops all the way around, okay? So I'm going to work on this for a few minutes and then we'll come back and see what I got. One eternity later. Okie dokie, oh, my mouse is in the way. So next day, and I've got a boo-boo, but I've got a really cool like Mickey Mouse band-aid, so it's okay. Um, now let's take a look at what I did here. See, I went all the way around and then when I got over here, because this is where I'm gonna be wiring down some of my little fall stuff here, and then I made a bow. Now, if you wanna know how to make this bow, it's really easy. I have a video for that. I'm gonna put the link to that video in the description box, and I'll also pin a comment. But anyway, I'm gonna be wiring some things down, and I didn't want that to be on top of all this stuff. Okay, so. We have our trusty floral wire here and not the scissors, Amber. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of this and then we are going to wire it down so that kinda curves a little this way. Now these came from Joann's, but let me tell you, if you want some really nice florals, ribbon, mesh, everything that has to do with wreath making, go to Mel's Crafty Mojo. Once again, I'm going to put that link in the description box and I'll pin a comment. She has tons of cool wreath making supplies. So go check her out. She's a really sweet friend of mine. I love her. So I like supporting, you know, small business and friends when I can. So let's see. Let's try to, because I want this bow to like hang down and then these have wire in them so I can bend them around. So I think that right there is going to be okay. So I'm just going to wire that down. Come here, right there, just to kind of hold it in place. And then we can reinforce that here in a second. I know this is going to be loose. I don't really like tightening everything down, like really tightly until I make sure, you know, things are in place. So that'll look okay right there. And then my bow is gonna be here. And like I said, this is this is bendable. So I'm going to kind of bend this around this way. Let's bend that like so. We just bend it around to conform to the shape of our wreath frame here. So we have that. And of course, I'll puff this up a little bit. Okay, so we have that. And then I just keep putting the bow on here. This pine cone. Why are you upsetting me? I want the bow to kind of be right here and then hang down like so that looks pretty good all right so i have four of these total i don't know how many i'm going to use so this is number two here and then you just keep flip flopping back and forth until you get everything in position so this here i want another one to go like right here that looks good oh shoot i don't like wiring it down on top of all these loopy loops so I'm just going to wire that down right there. All right, so I'm gonna cut some more wire. I'm gonna fasten this one down, make sure it's all in place, and then we'll put on the bow. Okay, so this is wired down really, really well. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hot glue the bow on now. Of course, you know, if you wanna wire your bow on, you attach it however you want, but I know where this is gonna go in my home. Um, so I'm just gonna be using hot glue. I'm just gonna put a big old blob right there. Let's put a bigger blob, shall we? 
But anyway, while I'm doing that, let's talk about jewelry, because I haven't talked about jewelry in this video. I know I'm directing y'all to a lot of links, but hey, paparazzi, only $5 each. If you look in the description box, there will be a link that says paparazzi. Just click on that link, and then click where it says shop, and it will take you to the jewelry. But anyway, now, once that glue sets up, I'm going to go back, and I will fluff up the bow a little bit now in the photo from that shop um that i was shown there were tiny little pine cones just stuck like ever so often and i don't think i have any of those tiny well i know i have some but i don't know exactly where they are and i thought it would be really cute to put little tiny pine cones here and there um but i think with all of this here i still want you to be able to see the loops you know, to see what the actual wreath looks like. So I don't think I'm going to put any up in here. But anyway, there it is. I will fluff this out and I will get a better photo for you so that you can see it at the end of the video. Anyway, to hang it, just take a piece of wire or something. You know, you can wrap it around here and then hang it on your wreath hanger. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.